Spider. Hidden behind a newspaper in a coffee shop is Dick Strong. In the booth behind him, Dr. Bob Brilliant. Dick, listen. Don't turn around. There are two men watching us. My friend, Dr. Emeritus, called at my home last night. He telephoned from Pallavania? Said his daughter, Rini, was flying here overnight. But before I could ask what flight, someone cut us off. Hmm. I'm worried, Dick. You see, I'm afraid something's wrong. I'll look into it. What's the next plane out of here? One at two and one at four. Good. Catch the two o'clock. What about fare? Here. I want you to take this. Right. What about Dr. Emeritus? If he's all right, escort him back here. And his daughter? Jimmy Sparks and Inspector Blooper have gone to the airport to meet her. Good. See you, Bob. Good luck, Dick. Say, Jim, that plane's late. 1.30? Gee whiz, Inspector Blooper. Do you think that something happened? We'll check traffic control. Good. Control. Calling 105. Control. Calling 105. Something's wrong with flight 105. I'm getting no answer. <clears throat> the inspector blooper. Anything wrong up there, huh? Yes, sir. There is. Three unidentified craft tailing flight 105. Okay up there, 105? 
Thanks, son. The passengers are safe, and so are the pilots. Yeah, thanks. We owe our lives to you and the robot Gigantor. Inspector, what happened to the plane you were supposed to meet? Doctor, that plane was nearly hijacked, but thanks to Gigantor and Jimmy, that plane will be landing here shortly. Good. Then the girl Rini is safe. Yep. Here they come now. Tootsie, hijacking the plane must have failed. All right, Monty, let's move on to plan B. Right. Starting right now. Yeah. 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 Hey, watch where you're going, will you? <laughs> so you see, Rini, you're a very lucky girl. I know I am, Inspector. I just wish Daddy were here with me, too. We're already taking care of that. Your dad will be here with you soon. Gee, he's playful. His name, Rini? Well, I call him Coco. He's rather mischievous, but quite clever. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> no, he's a cute little devil, but you can't trust a monkey behind your back. All right, you guys, get out and reach for the sky. You know who I am, Inspector Blooper. Don't argue with them. They're carrying machine guns. Let's all step out. You don't understand who I am. Inspector Blooper. Uh, quiet, Big Mouth. You're giving me a headache. First come, Bugsy. Oh. 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 Rainy, step outside. Oh, no, I won't. Quick, Coco, help me. Uh, Coco? Oh, 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 oh. Inspector. Oh, that's Slam out of here, boys! Weenie, are you all right? Yes. Good. Let's hurry. You're right. Hey, thank goodness I did turn my back on that monkey. If I hadn't, he couldn't have taken my gun and saved us all. <laughs> that a boy, Coco. Say now, what's that you got there? Oh. Hey! <laughs> That's my wallet. <laughs> Look here. Now he's trying to take my nose. Oh, yes. Doctor, I carry something in my purse. It's from my father. For you. Oh? My instincts tell me that once we open this purse, we'll have the key to the mystery of what happened to our Doctor Emeritus. Exactly what you'd expect to find in a lady's purse. The purse is completely empty, and yet it's still heavy. Maybe Dr. Emeritus rigged up a false bottom. Maybe. Oh, you've ruined my nicest purse. It's all right. Mama will get you another one tomorrow. You were sad. So that's it. Now I see. Now I understand why those rascals are after little Reenie. They're really after this invention. What is that, Doctor? A lead box? A lead shield of some kind? No, Jimmy. Nice try, but let me demonstrate. Notice my fingers never leave my hand. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. That box ran all that heavy-duty machinery. That's right, Inspector Blooper. That tiny leaden box powered all that heavy machinery. It generates 100,000 volts of electricity. It's called Super Elex. Dr. Emeritus has worked on it for years. You can imagine what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. That's why he sent it to me through the person he trusted most, his daughter. What do you mean, wrong hands? Jim, Dr. Emeritus has been experimenting with a powerful new ray. Ray? You mean a ray that paralyzes men? Nope. Worse than that. The ray can wipe out an entire army. Used properly for science, the ray can almost perform miracles, but... Yes, used improperly. 
Super Alex can be one of the greatest forces of destruction the world has ever known. That's why they were after Rini. Look, she's tired. She's asleep. I'll call Mom. Bob, I'm convinced Dr. Emeritus is in big trouble. You, what do you think? I'm afraid you're right, Inspector. This morning, I put Dick on a plane to Polyvania. You what? Dick Strong? Wow! Farther to Dr. Emeritus' house? Not far. Oh, what's that? Soldiers. They guard Doctor's house. Not good. Captain Spider, please let the doctor go. I am his housekeeper. I know he is good. Quiet! Dr. Emeritus is a traitor to the people of Polyvania. He sent his new invention abroad for committing this terrible crime. He should be exiled. And I am warning you, Doctor, that you will be exiled if you do not make me the machine to produce that ray. Captain, I will never allow my ray to be used as a weapon of mass destruction. What? Who wants to use the ray as a weapon of mass destruction? All I want to do is to wipe out an army here and there so I can take over the world. That is a goal I can never allow, Captain Spider. Take him away! Take him away! Won't you? The master is a good man, and Captain Spider is wicked. Now, how can I get the doctor away from the spider and his army of traitors? Spider needs soldiers. That's an idea. Just hope they don't discover me. Captain Spider? You have bungled the job with the plane and let the doctor's daughter escape. Yeah, I'm very sorry, Captain. He ruins my career and he's sorry. So what now? I don't know, sir. To conquer the world, I must have the super election of Dr. Emeritus. I know, Captain. You must get the unit away from the doctor's daughter, Rini. I will try again, Captain. This time, I do not fail. Good. In the meantime, I will work on Dr. Emeritus and make him redraw the design. Ah, one thing more. As long as the Super Elex is out of the country, it can be used against us. This must be prevented at any cost. You understand? Yes, Captain. To recover the Super Elex will require nothing short of a real all-out attack. I take full command. We launch Operation Helmet from Snake Island. It is done, Captain Spider. I will be sure to tell... Soon the entire world will belong to me. Everyone hail the spider. <laughs> Hilda. Oh, is that you, Hilda? Shh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Your wish is my command. You will apprehend at once the girl, Rini Emeritus. Oh, and the boy, Jimmy Sparks. I will apprehend Rini Emeritus and young Jimmy Sparks. Later that night, at the home of Dr. Bob Brilliant, Oh, yes, sir. This is Officer O'Monahan. Yeah, this is Inspector Blooper. Get Jimmy Sparks and Rini and bring them down to headquarters right away. Jimmy Sparks and Rini? I'll do that, sir. 
What was that all about? Well, that was Inspector Blooper, sir. He wants me to take Jimmy Sparks and Rini down to headquarters right away. At this hour? I guess he must have a pretty good reason. Well, then, you'll just have to wake them up, put them in a squad car, and rush them down to headquarters right away. Yes, sir. Well, it may be safer here, but this is taking too long. Where's Mr. Blooper? I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't know we were here yet. Did you tell him, guard? Wait, you're not the guard. Right. I happen to be a secret agent of the Cat and Spider of Polyvania. Aren't you surprised? Inspector! Inspector! <laughs> Take it easy, kid. In a few hours, you'll be on your way to Polyvania. Inspector, don't you recognize me? Jimmy Sparks. Quiet! Yeah. Hey, one more word out of you and I'll take away your tin soldier. Yeah. And that goes for your monkey too, young lady. Yeah. By order of the spider. Da, 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 da. Don't be scared, Reenie. Gosh, I can't understand what's happened to Inspector Blooper, but we'll get out of this somehow. If only I had the control box for Gigantor. Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> Attention, this is Inspector Ignaz Blooper. I order all patrolmen to leave Dr. Brilliant's home at once. In addition, all members of the force may take a two-week vacation starting now, that is all. <laughs> what? Dr. Brilliant to see you. Dr. Brilliant? I don't know any Dr. Brilliant. Tell him I said to go away. You're far away. Uh. Ah. Mm, Coco, you brought the unit. You're so clever. This does not control Gigantor, but it's a control box, all right. Wonder what it does. Coming, master. Your wish is my command. All right. Release us from the cell at once. Very well, sir. Your wish is my... Oh, I said that, didn't I? Uh-oh. Hey, you dropped that. Not like that. Give me that control. You Look, Bugsy, we had better cut out with the remote control unit for Giganter. Now. Stop, you two, stop. <laughs> No. Uh -oh. Ah, brilliant. Boy, oh boy. I suspected there was something funny going on around here. Where's Inspector Blooper, Jim? Behaving very strangely. Right over here, Doctor. <laughs> that control unit and the helmet worn by the Inspector must have something to do with each other. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Bob Brilliant, Jimmy Sparks, Rainy Emeritus. Now, what are all you people doing here? In the middle of the night. How about that? The moment he took off the helmet, he became himself. <laughs> of course. Here, Coco. Sure, I'll tell you everything about the spider. Good. To start, where's your base of chief operation? Dr. Brilliant, Dr. Brilliant. Doctor. We've located Captain Spider's base camp from the air, sir. Attention all units! Attention all units! Proceed full speed to Snake Island! All units stand by to counterattack. Yes, sir. Dr. Brilliant is a Gigantor copy of Air Force, sir. We have an affirmative on that. Gigantor, watch for Snake Island. They say that from the air, it looks like a giant snake coiling around. Roger. Keep us informed if you see anything. Over and out. Hey, 
Operation Hurricane. Has done it, Inspector Blooper. He stopped the hurricane. Yay! All units forward! So they think Spider's trapped in his own web, do they? We'll see about that. Like that. 